Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Let Us Play Prison Architect. We're going to do a new small prison map. Unfortunately, there's no title screen. There's no um, introduction. The game just starts you right up. And you get used to that, because this is an alpha build. Um, it's been an alpha for almost a year, maybe even a year. And to opt in, you had to pay like 30 bucks. And, you know, last year I had a little bit more money, so... Um, Anyway, I'm going to do a small prison. Uh, I'm going to try my hardest to make it look really cool, really symmetrical, if possible. Uh, let's see, uh, 31 by, I think, 23 will give me a really good cell block. Now, I also want to move... First, got to accept all these grants, because it, it gives you um, 80,000, so you, then you have 90,000, because they only start you with 10 grand. That's not a lot of money. That one zone took like 7,000 something just to do. Um, but, you know, I want to be prepared. So, you get your workmen out, you know, eight workmen. Um, so, I'm looking at uh, all the options here to put all the tile sets down. And I have the plan already worked out on um, kind of like a spreadsheeted. Um, it's a little bit. Um, I think I got my method down. Uh, let me, let me, let's just hope that I transpose it properly, because if I don't, um, it'll, be, it'll be like a, a block off or something. But I'm just readjusting my garbage and my um, uh, intake of uh, delivery stuff, just so I have it manageable where I want it. Um, I need to put down a couple more workers. Um, and now let's go to faster pace. Okay. And they're going to offload all this crap to build that foundation. And they're going to go from there. Well, this game, you can still opt into the alpha. Uh, it's open to anyone willing to pay the 30 or $35. And that is expensive. And most of the time, developers um, have alpha builds for free. So, But this one is people who are just serious about playing the game and who want to help. Um, if my audio cuts out or cuts in... Um, I think that's because I'm I'm clicking over to my spreadsheet and back, and fraps won't um, fraps won't record audio off of this when I um in a, when I uh, defocus it. So I had to use fraps, and I'm not a big fan of fraps. Okay, not a, not a fan because of the file size. I prefer Camtasia uh, right now. Um, because it's the one I'm most familiar with at the moment. and um, But, let's see, uh, two over, two down. Now i got to build the foundation for my offices. So I think I need to do 12 by, like, 24, I think, or no, it's like 26. But the foundation isn't just going to be this, either. Um, foundations don't finalize until you put a door down. Then all the walls are wrecked around them. So you can add to a foundation until you put a door um, so if you want to make weird L shapes, you can do that. Also, to add to a foundation, you can... Um, let me look at my map really quick. Again, if the audio cuts out uh, and you get audio... Audio... Audio? And you get audio audio whiplash, that's um, just me clicking over. So um, just try to ignore that. This is... Um, you have to spreadsheet this, this because if you don't, uh, your prison becomes sort of haphazard. It's all over the place. And an unorganized prison is really a unruly one. So let's forget that. That's just uh, someone poking at me. I think of my phone as well. All right, I gotta do an accurate count here. So the way you plant down, of course, is just drop and drag. And if you're on the um, foundation blueprint that you misplaced, you can right click and drag, and it'll deselect. That's how I deselected those zones for delivery and garbage. Okay, so uh, I think I'm zoning too much at one time, though. Um, so this means the game is gonna get is gonna start lagging. Yeah, I'm getting um, I'm getting like 20 frames a second right now, and that's not all that great. Um, so word of advice is um, try not to. Um, zone a lot at once like I'm doing. 
if, if you wanted my advice, like zone the cell block first. Then when it's almost done, zone something else. Me, I'm just trying to go all out really quick here, and it's this is the first time I've tried to do this this much all at once, and so now I'm suffering the consequences. Is it just me, or is my workforce not here? Like, I think I'm missing a few. Um, anyway, let me, let me check up on my resources. Yeah, the trucks can get backed up waiting. So, um, now I'm just waiting on them to build. So, I think I'll fast forward uh, and, and start again when the... Um, when they're finished with the foundation. Or I can take this time to discuss some of the things about this game. Uh, they've added a lot since the last alpha update. Um, mostly bug fixes, but you can still exploit the shit out of the game. Okay, you can still break the game. And I think I'll show you ways to break the game. Um, because it's the most efficient. And I do only have a few workers. I better plop down some more. I know what it was. When I was rezoning the delivery, the delivery truck with the workers rolled right on by. Now i got to pay money to hire more. Piece of shit. You're supposed to get those for free. Again, there's a lot of bugs uh, that they haven't got to. Or they're not bugs so much as poor like design features that haven't been polished yet. You know? So, you do get a lot of problems when it comes to that right now. Um, so when you play the game, if you're thinking about it, you can't be upset if you find something that isn't, that isn't working right. It's like, okay, this is because it's an alpha build. Um, the people who made this game, uh, their games stay in alpha for quite a long time. And so, it's no surprise. When it's like, is it still an alpha? Like, five months later, yep, still an alpha. Um, so, I think now is a good time just to fast forward ahead and uh, wait when they're finished with the foundations. I think it's fun to watch and build and fast forward, so I'm going to leave this in, um, and just let them go nuts, you know, so, I could probably fast forward this whole game, anyway, here we go, now we're done, yeah, room done, that's gonna be the cell block, they automatically put lights in, but you can adjust them and put them where you want them, it just takes a lot more work, I tend not to, um, but adequate light will probably make the prisoners happier in the long run, so, you know. Um, uh, the game starts off pretty slow, and you do you can choose if you want to accept prisoners or not. I chose to to I chose to turn the option on. A continuous intake of prisoners with no end in sight again is an alpha thing, so it's very difficult. It's actually impossible to um, continuously uh, intake prisoners because you run out of space, you run out of facilities, and the prisoners will overrun your facility. Many of them will escape. There'll be riots. You know, mass hysteria. So I'm just going to build a wall here, actually, so I can... Um... Now, I still have space to the left there. Yeah, I still have quite a bit of space, but that's okay. Um, I'm just doing a part of the prison right now. So, you know, just make it functional before I intake a lot of prisoners. So, I think now's a good time to just speed it up all, all together. Um, that way you guys aren't sitting here forever while I'm waiting for things to get done. And it'll probably be more entertaining besides. Alright, I've decided to actually leave the audio on and fast forward the game. So, of course, now this is all post-talk commentary. But that's okay. Um, what, I'm do what, I what I know I need to do right now is put a door here so the foundation gets completed. And after it gets completed, I need to um, start zoning some small areas inside. Because this is not only going to be... There you go. <laughs> I love that. Now the game's not going to lag so much. Okay. I've got to zone the, the canteen, which is where they eat. Also called the galley. Oh, oh my god. See that little area right there? Uh, to the right? That pissed me off because I realized that I had put the cell block one too many squares to the right. But I just roll with it. Because I didn't want to fix it at that point. It, it just... I already invested this much time into it. Always something, you know. Anyway, uh, I put the power station with capacitors down, uh, and I put the water pump down. So, because you need both those utilities, and the water pump needs power. Um, with the money you start with, with all the grants, it's actually quite easy to do this. Um, if you have a set 
set piece, a set, piece, a set, set piece. That's kind of redundant, isn't it? If you have a set thing in mind. Anyway, um, with power in the building, the, there's a limit to how far it'll expand before you actually need cables. You know, with the capacitors there. But I'm gonna put a yard right here. It's a small yard, but for the cell block I have, it'll actually work out okay. And I like how no one has to sleep except prisoners. None of your staff. Uh, it's probably a wise idea to um, ensure you have water and power. And here I'm actually zoning my future um, warden's office. And there's going to be an accountant's office here. There's going to be a series of six offices here. The utility room and the visitor center, which is to the right there. Uh, I realize I hadn't started my tech tree yet, so you got to unlock finance, uh, security, and all sorts of other things. It's not too bad, actually. Uh, th that tree has been expanded a little bit from the last alpha. Um, there wasn't as much to the right. Um, like there's there's now more rooms too. They added a, a janitor's um, closet, like, it, like, and they added a laundry room. So now prisoners will bitch about uh, cl dirty clothes, as well. Just one more thing you got to worry about. They also fixed a bug where you could exploit... Anyway, here's where you set the prisoners. Like, I don't want any prisoners right now, so I set them all to don't accept any. And I do have a little bit of a problem here, because uh, I have my guys kind of... Well, they lock themselves in, like the shower area. Uh, and I, I realized they hadn't built the door. So here I am building the uh, shower heads. I'm building 40 shower heads in this one area because there's going to be 40 members in the cell block. And I realized they hadn't actually built the door here. That's what all those X's are for. No one can get there. And I didn't realize that until a little bit later. But don't worry, prisoners don't come yet, so... Uh, anyway, um, you need to make sure there's enough water for your shower room. And the way the shower heads work is they don't actually have to be attached to a wall. If you want to consider it a an overhead pipe network where there are overhead showers with like a triangular pull handle that you pull down over you, that's the kind of showers I'm doing because you just you hover them and they, they hover. So that's kind of like how it works. But of course, you can also plop them outside. Um, again, it's an alpha build. They might change that. They might make it to where the showers need to be next to a wall, or if they're indoors, they don't have to be. But you can actually put showers in the yard. As a matter of fact, it sometimes is a good strategy to put everything the prisoners need in the yard. For instance, you put foam booths in the yard, you put shower heads in the yard, you put uh, workout benches in the yard, you put pool tables, TVs, places to sit, like benches and comfy chairs, all in the yard. Because there is no weather in this, so because of no weather, nothing gets damaged, etc., etc., so... And, um, don't give the prisoners free time, even though I do, don't give them free time, give them yard time only, and in the yard they can take care of everything except sleep. Because when prisoners have free time, they tend to sleep. Uh, that's actually been changed in this alpha, so they don't prioritize sleep as much, so they do actually sleep if you schedule them to sleep. But if you don't have a scheduled sleep time and just make it all free time, they'll sleep whenever, they'll exercise whenever, they'll make phone calls home whenever. Um, and it actually keeps the peace in the prison uh, exceptionally well. That's the way to break the game. Tons of free time and just free to do everything. Except during meal times. Uh, that's the one time they don't have it free. And, um, you know, the fog of war starts kicking in soon. When you, there's no fog of war until you accept your first prisoners. Once you do, fog of war kicks in. And I didn't know that at the time because fog of war was in this recent update. And it's new to me. So I wasn't quite sure how it worked. Uh, you put CCTV cameras all over the place to eliminate the fog of war. And there is a CCTV uh, room at the moment, but it does nothing. And that's what it's listed as, does nothing. It's an alpha build. So, I'm trying to research hygiene, uh, but it doesn't seem to want to work at the moment, you know. Sometimes when you research something, it gets hung up. I don't know why. Um, anyway, that middle room is going to be divided into... I don't quite get it done at the moment, but it's going to be divided into um, a laundry room and um, uh, a janitor's closet or something. Here's where I start zoning the cells, because I know I'm accepting people in, and it's just big enough, as you can see, to put six cells, uh, ten cells in, plus walls. You actually don't have to have walls if your prisoners aren't dangerous. Uh, but I did for the completionist in me. It's like, okay, I'm going to put my cells all the same way, you know. Um, I'm going to make them proper cells. You know, just because it makes me feel better. 
And now I'm going to accept the prisoners. I'm not going to accept high-risk uh, ranking prisoners at the moment. Um, I'm not set up to receive them. I, you don't want to accept high rank prisoners until you're set up with all the facilities. Um, you know, like you have um, all the you know, laundry mat and everything already done. All the janitors, the cells get cleaned. Now, in the, your earlier alpha builds, janitors wouldn't clean prisoner cells. So there was a little hack I did where you go into this one, um, you go into this one file, this log file, and then put building dirty zero, and they'll never get dirty. So you don't need janitors. It's kind of a cheat, but at the same time, because janitors never clean cells, prisoners would get unhappy and and bitch because their cells are dirty, and the janitors wouldn't go in there to clean them. Again, alpha build. They might have fixed that in this alpha build. I don't know. So as you can see now that the cell block is taking shape, you'll see how it works. And um, the other one right next to it's going to look just like this. So that means I can get 40 prisoners in this one block. Now, before you ask, no, you can't have second, third, fourth, and fifth floors to your cell block like most prisons have. Um, it's one story so far. And um, right here is where I'm waiting for finance and see. Look, look, it's not researching cleaning for some strange reason. I don't know why. Um, I go off and I change it into something else. Because I wanted to start cleaning up right away, but it just didn't work. And this is where I realized that my door wasn't going to work, because they would uh, glitch right there in that corner, that hard corner. They were kind of like getting caught in there, and I think prisoners would have fucked up in there too. So I just I just did you know, what you'd expect, just change the wall a little bit and make my delivery zone one square less. Instead of five, it's now four. Pisses me off a little bit. Once your prison is sort of built, you don't need delivery except for food and intake of prisoners anyway. Now, a storage room helps. I don't, I don't build one here, but it does help, uh, so that they can offload and throw them in the storage room. Um, anyway, I think flashing down there at the bottom, at the middle bottom right, was a new feature added. Now I got my prisoners in low profile and a couple of normal. Um, that's all prisoners are forced to return to their cells. You know, um, all the grants I accepted. That's what that to-do list is is on the left for. And I, you notice I didn't build a holding cell. You actually don't need one at all, but um, you need it to complete the grant. Even though they give you the money in advance and there's no penalty, there's no time limit on the grants being done or not done, uh, so you could wait 10 years. Now we get Fog of War. Anyway, I built a, a runway here, a little track that they'll run on, and I start making the yard a little bit uh, more yardy with... Um, uh, you know, I was looking for the um, weight benches here. I couldn't find them before. I was like, where's the weight benches? And so I finally find them and I stick them down. I make it look nice, nice and pretty. Of course, my yard is now one more tile wide than it should be because my cell block is one far too far over. So it's not symmetrical here. There's one more space on the left of the uh, workout benches. But you, know, you get the idea. I wasn't going to fix it. I didn't want to. Um, that means my room's on the right. Uh, the other area is a little like one tile too fat, but that's okay. That's alright. I'm going to build a workshop and uh, a laundromat in the middle la uh, later. So, and, and a second shower head. Uh, this is like one half, one quarter of the prison. It's going to be four quarters. I'm going to have two canteens. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, here's where I realize that um, the guards need to be there to open the gates. So, I, I put the visitation room in there. I start putting some gates down. Um, see, right here... I was like, oops, wrong way. There you go. Um, now I put a... You gotta, see, look, they get, they get hung up until a guard opens that. So if you lock them in the open position, they can get through. But then prisoners can also get through. And I'm looking at my prisoners. I'm like, where are they at? Because I still hadn't figured out the, the fog of war. And I'm looking at that, like, cleaning. Why aren't you researching cleaning? I don't know. It's, it's bugged out or something. Um, so I, I build another... There's, there's, this is to complete the holding cell. You need one bench, a 5x5 five five room, and a toilet. Make the toilet functional, put a guard in there, and um, you complete the grant. And then once I complete it, uh, and it's functional, then I delete this, the holding cell, because I don't need it anymore. And I, just, I just didn't want it on my to-do list. It was bugging me. <laughs> so, this is a fun little game. I put the, I put the, um, the gate right there. Uh, so now the prisoners, I can like, I can put a gate in the front of the visitation center, and keep that door open, and lock the top door. So now the prisoners can't funnel out and escape. Okay. So now everyone can get through. The working men can get through to build. And I just dezone. I don't care about that stuff anymore. So when when I take away that stuff, the bench and the toilet, 
um, that's when you need the storage room so they can put it in storage. Otherwise, it just stays there. Um, there's no penalty for that happening right now, but anyway, the canteen is for um, you know you need the serving the serving tables um, and the tables and benches uh, that that can hold up to eight people. So now I'm putting some guards in here so I can monitor them eating. Uh, stealing utensils is the biggest thing prisoners can do. They steal knives and shit. Uh, unless you have a guard in there. So, anyway, um, the kitchen is expandable. You know, I, I, I don't have nearly as many chefs as, I, as I'm going to have. Um, so anyway, I'm about, just about done here. It's um, a real nifty game. I'd like to play some more. I'm just wondering if you guys are interested. The, pri the prison is um, not finished. So I could put it on fast forward play and finish at least the top half of the prison and get some high profile prisoners in. I don't know, but I, I was at a standstill because I was waiting on them to build stuff, you know, and, and waiting on more prisoners because now I needed more and better influx of money. So anyway, um, this is pretty much my starting prison. It's gonna look really cool when it's done. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more because I do like playing this game. It's fun, uh, but it's still an alpha. So I'll see you later.